<clears throat> okay uh, so we have discussed yesterday up to this this portion that is uh, the proteins of that is present in plasma proteins that are present in plasma okay you can give your numbers in the chat box everyone okay so there are three proteins in plasma that is fibrinogen, globulin, and albumin. Okay, and uh, fibrinogen, it 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 is needed for uh, blood clotting. Blood clotting I have discussed yesterday. That is the prevention of flow of blood. Okay, when the blood, uh, when there is a cut, and when there is a flow of blood, and uh, that flow is stopped, that is known as not it is stopped it is it is formed by some uh, the blood becomes thick and it forms meshes around the wound and then it gradually stops so that is known as blood clotting or blood coagulation is the same thing that is done by fibrinogen okay. and globulin that also we have discussed yesterday that is uh, it is involved in defense self defense mechanism self defense mechanism it is discussed LB Albumin means also it is osmotic balance that is also discussed that is uh, the water balance water balance in your body the uh, uh, all of you know that in human body almost the like, majority of the portion it is water so this uh, albumin protein that is present in the plasma that helps in that uh, maintaining that water balance okay and plasma without the Fibrinogen, it is known as serum. Up to here, it is done again. Yesterday, it is done up to here. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, ma clotting or coagulation both are same. Yes, yes, both are same. Ma'am, or fibrinogens means what? Fibrinogens are the proteins. That is the name of a protein. Fibrinogen is in, is the name of a protein. क्या है ऐसे तो नहीं बोल सकते ना ऐसे तो लाइक प्लाज्मा क्या है प्लाज्मा इज द लिक्विड दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन द ब्लड राइट फाइब्रिनोजन इज द प्रोटीन दैट इज ओके मैम 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 दिस मैम दिस प्रोटीन इज फाउंड इन ब्लड यस ओके मैम दैट प्रोटीन इज सी वी हैव डिस्कस लाइक फाइब्रिनोजन ग्लोबुलिन एंड एल्ब्यूमिन आर मेजर प्रोटीन्स फाउंड इन प्लाज्मा राइट and plasma is a part of blood okay ma'am yes so ultimately okay, the proteins okay. will be found in the blood okay ma'am hmm. <clears throat> whatever it is present in plasma is present in blood also because plasma it is present in blood so uh, next is formed elements formed elements are that blood cells not the liquid part but the solid part okay that is the blood cells of the blood there are cells in the blood so so it is when when like uh, it is asked like uh, what is the composition of blood it cannot say like red blood cell white blood cell platelet you have to mention uh, plasma mera number hi aake rakha hai ya dekho na dekho here here sir joshi bhai ka itna no where he is talking who to whom he is talking i'll just remove remove you then you get my attention either mute yourself or don't attend the class even after like so many days this is not acceptable it is so long initially first when we started online class then it is okay you didn't know but now after like two months it is not acceptable talking also if you want to talk just don't attend the class you can say your network is issue you have network issue you cannot attend the class easy tell your mentor that your network you have network issue then you cannot attend the class and don't attend the class when attend you are attending the class keeping your mute mic on 
uh, unmute and you're talking elsewhere don't your parents know that your uh, like classes are going on would you like talk like this in front of me in the class i bet you can the three types of blood cells are there red blood cells white blood cells and platelets uh, so red blood cells are called also called erythrocytes same thing okay erythrocytes and red blood cells same thing and white blood cells are also called leukocytes and there are platelets platelets are also called thrombocytes Thrombos uh, erythrocytes, leukocytes, thrombocytes, or red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. And they constitute about 45% of the blood. Okay, here plasma, it consists about 55% of the blood, and the rest remaining 45% is uh, uh, like, it's, uh, constituted by the blood cells, that is the formed elements, known as blood cells. Okay. We'll get to know uh, like each one in detail. That is first erythrocyte, that is red blood cells. So, red blood cells, it is uh, in the blood, the quantity of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, if you count, the majority of it is the red blood cells. So, red blood cells, it is the most abundant, means the quantity of red blood cells in comparison to white blood cells and platelets are more, far more. Okay. Here is uh, the one uh, like measurement it is given. You can you have to memorize it, okay? Like uh, for 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 an adult, for an adult, for a normal like adult human being, uh, the like number of red blood cells present in the body it is five millions to five point five million, okay? Part of uh, like. Uh, RBC. So this is the count. You just need to remember that the count. Just remember there is no other way. So uh, just get to know that uh, out of all the three blood cells, the red blood cells is the most uh, abundant. Means the highest quantity is of the red blood cells in the blood. Okay. And uh, do you know bone marrow? What is bone marrow? I guess you know what is bone marrow. The uh, like what the color of brownish, reddish brown thing present inside the bones. No, the reddish brown thing that is present inside the bone. Uh, if you have, if you are a non veg and you have eaten like all those chicken and ducks and whatever. Then you will get to know that inside the bones there is a uh, the bones inside the bones it is not empty okay inside the bones there are uh, like a reddish brown things inside okay that is known as the bone marrow and this red blood cells they are born you can say they are born from this uh, bone marrow okay the red blood cells are born from that bone marrow that they, they comes from that bone, bone marrow okay and about the red blood cells i have discussed while discussing aerobic and anaerobic respiration that red blood cells do not have mitochondria right and also there are no nucleus in my uh, red blood cells there is no nucleus in red blood cells okay no mitochondria no nucleus and the shape of red blood cells all of you know this is in the shape of a like button this inward curve is there that is that's why it is known as biconcave concave means what concave means what that this inward thing you no know? concave lens in chemistry you have i guess you have uh, what to say red in chemistry that is uh, this concave lens Okay, concave means this inward movement. Concave and convex lens. All of you have read in chemistry. That is this inward movement, inward, inward thing. You no, know, this curve. So that is known as concave. And why it is known as biconcave? Biconcave means on both the sides. 
this side also that side also in both the sides it is in the shape of like concave that is it is that side is known as biconcave you can see the shape here in the diagram if you see you can see the shape here like uh, this is the like structure of the uh, shape of the rbc that is the red blood cells or erythrocytes okay and they do not have any nucleus and they are born from the bone marrow okay and they are biconcave concave because this is this structure is known as concave this inward movement this is known as concave and biconcave because on both the sides this side also and the down side also this side also this side also and this side also both the sides will be same inward movement will be there that's why it is known as biconcave okay and all of you know they are red in color why they are red in color this, this question i asked like uh, earlier classes why the red uh, red blood cells they are red in color yeah, because of the present of hemoglobin okay and i gave an example of that iron pigment in the hemoglobin and all right so uh, that is, i gave examples of banana flower if you remember i gave an example of banana flower banana flower when you cut the banana flower the lot of like your hand gets all dirty okay why is it because because of the presence of iron in the uh, iron in that okay it is it is full of iron so uh, it is very good for your health so uh, this hemoglobin they are made up of iron okay iron iron uh, pigment and the uh, this hemoglobin it is found in the red blood cell that is the reason of that is the reason because that, that is the presence of hemoglobin is the reason why the red blood cells are red in color okay the things you need to remember about red blood cells are they are the most abundant or out of all the uh, blood cells they are the most abundant just give me a second Okay, they are the most. Uh, okay. So. Things that you need to remember about uh, the red blood cells is that it is the most abundant out of all the cells. Most abundant means it is most means uh, it is the quantity of red blood cells it is more than all the red blood, all the other cells. Okay, and second thing is that it is uh, it is formed from bone marrow. Okay, bone marrow. That is the things that is inside the bone. Bone marrow is found inside the bone, and the red blood cells they are originated from the bone marrow. Okay, and the red blood cells that do not have any nucleus, they do not have any mitochondria, and they are biconcave in shape. Biconcave means concave on both the sides. Okay, and their color is red because of the presence of hemoglobin. Okay, if you have any doubts from this red blood cells, if you want to ask something, you just ask. If you text me, you know, in the in between the class, I will not be able to see the message. Well, I don't use to see the mobile. Today I kept it near, and so much call and all everything is coming. Okay, next is white blood cells. Uh, 
by the name you are uh, I, I guess you are clear that the white blood cell it is colorless it does not have any color okay the red uh, the blood is red because of the red blood cells and the white blood cells they do not have any color they are colorless and uh, about the red blood cells we have seen there is no nucleus right there is no nucleus but in the case of uh, white blood cells there is a nucleus you can see this one for this one here this one here so there is nucleus okay for white blood cells but it is not as simple for for the red blood cells it is so simple but for the white blood cells it is not that simple okay why because red blood cells there are only one type of red blood cells there are there red blood cells are not of different different types okay but the white blood cells there are of, they are of different categories different type and one more thing is that uh, you know, this way you have figured out because i have already told like uh, the red blood cells are the most uh, abundant of all the blood cells which means the white this white blood cells are of lesser number lesser quantity right uh, uh, red blood cells are the most abundant then come the white blood cells that is this, this much so it is very less as compared to those uh, millions <clears> those <throat> so white blood cells are also known as uh, leukocytes leukocytes and their uh, lifespan is short that is short lived it is even sh uh, generally short lived -less. it does not survive for so long it uh, they, its lifespan means the 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 time when it's when it originates and the time when it dies or when it is uh, de degraded the time is short okay. and there are two types of uh, the uh, WBCs that is granulocytes and agranulocytes so what is granulocytes and agranulocytes this you have got in your school but I am sure you forgot okay so granulocytes or a granulocyte this this division is made on the presence of granules so what are granules granules are some like a uh, small small uh, pigment like thing so here it is it's thin you can see here this dots right so these dots dots are there here also there's many dots are there here also there are dots so all these dots are known as granules okay small small uh, particles known as granules so uh, when these granules are present, when there is granule inside the, like cytoplasm will be there, right? This is the nucleus. This is a cell. Normally, this is a cell. So, there will be the nucleus and cytoplasm. So, uh, when these granules are present in the cytoplasm, when these granules are present, they are known as granulocytes. Okay, remember, when granules are present, they are known as granulocytes. And when there are no granules, it is known as agranulocytes. Okay, absent of granules, it is known as agranulocytes. And when granules are present, it is known as granulocytes. There are two categories of WBC, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granules, it, it, and this uh, categorization, it is made on the basis of the presence or absence of granules. Okay, granules are nothing but small, uh, uh, like, small particles okay small small particles and when they are present it, the, like they are known as granulocytes and where there is absent when which when those blood cells where uh, it is these granules are absent it is known as agranulocytes okay so you can see here types of granulocytes so these are like looking at the diagram even if i hide these names Looking at the diagram only, you will figure out which are the granulocytes. So here, this is not a granulocyte, right? No granules are there. This is also not a granulocyte because no granules are there. Here you can see like many dots. This is a granulocyte. This is also a granulocyte. And this is also a granulocyte. So types of granulocytes are neutrophil, basophil, and eosinophil. Okay, neutrophil, eosinophil, and basophil. Three types of granulocytes. So, in the exam you have to draw this diagram okay so then you have to draw this 
like like this like this way okay then you have to draw this like this with giving this granules and packs of uh, uh, oh i forgot okay let me let me connect it Types of egg granulocytes. Types of egg granulocytes which no granules are present, it is monocyte and leukocyte. Okay, leukocyte and monocyte. So, okay, this categorization is made. Okay, for first, let's look at the granulocytes. There is neutrophil, neosomosome, persephone. So, these are categorized on the basis of this structure of the nucleus. Okay. You can see for all the blood cells, the structure of the nucleus is also different. Right, the structure of the nucleus is different. Here you can see the nucleus is like five lobes are there, five lobes. So in neutrophil, the nucleus is five lobed. Lobed means small fragments. And for basophil, it is in the shape of like C shaped, this shape. Okay. And for eosinophil, it is like in the form of two beans and it is joined. Okay, in between it is joined cannot like see it well but it is joined like one like small thread will be there and it will be joined but it is joined but it is in the shape of this okay and same in the case of egg granulocyte for lymphocyte it is small and it covers and the nucleus it is big nucleus it is big and the cell it covers almost the entire cell see the nucleus it is big but for monocyte the nucleus is big, but it does not cover the entire cell, and the nucleus it is somewhat bean shaped. Okay, somewhat mm -hmm. bean shaped. So, while drawing the diagram uh, of like, if you are asked to write about blood cells, then you have to draw the diagrams. Okay, whenever it is asked to write about blood cells, you have to draw the diagram. Like for red blood cells, also you have to draw. For white blood cells, also you have to draw. And when you draw the white blood cells, you have to draw each one, naming each one. Okay, so make sure you means don't mistake in these uh, granules while giving granules if you give granules in lymphocyte it will be wrong okay and if you, if you don't give granules in eosinophil it will be wrong so same so that you have to pay attention and one more thing that is about the nucleus the shape of the nucleus that is what differs okay the shape of the nucleus it differs so you have to pay attention to the shape of the nucleus and the whether the granules are present or not Okay, that is the main distinguishing characters between each of these five type of white blood cells. Okay, so first thing about white blood cell is that it is also known as leukocytes. Then it is colorless. Why it is colorless? Because there is no hemoglobin. Okay, and for uh, white blood cells, it has a nucleus, and the uh, like the uh, number of white blood cells in the blood it is a little bit less than the red blood cells. And this, uh, they are of two categories, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes are what? Uh, in, in this granulocytes, granules are present and they are of three types, neutrophil, testophil and eosinophil. And agranulocytes, there are no granules and there are of two types, that is monocyte and lymphocyte. Okay. You can tell take screenshots of this. This diagram are proper. Okay, I have. I can see. You can take screenshots of this and draw it in your copies. <coughs> so this is all about white blood cells. So red blood cells, white blood cells. Okay, one more thing. I uh, I will uh, I need to say. These white blood cells are uh, like known as Fighter cell, okay, because uh, this is not required in your class, okay, and just uh, for your knowledge, like B lymphocyte and T lymphocytes, those uh, uh, essential in immunity for immunity for immunity purposes. Immunity means all of you know that I have discussed like self de defense mechanism right in your body to to 
to like protect ourselves from the viruses and whatever that is bacteria and viruses right so that uh, b and c lymphocytes which help in that uh, immunity that things are present in white blood cells okay b and c lymphocytes this is not required for your like that is little bit high level so you don't require this just for your knowledge and things the next type is the platelets <clears throat> So, uh, platelets name is also thrombocytes, all of you know, thrombocytes or platelets. And this is the amount of platelets uh, formed. And these platelets also help in blood coagulation and blood clotting. Okay, uh, for, for plasma, you have find, found fibrinogens, right? Fibrinogen, they help in blood clotting. And these platelets also they help in blood clotting. If you don't have platelets, then if you don't have platelets, if you don't, if you lack platelets, the blood clotting will not be there. So you need to have platelets as well as those fibrinogen. Okay, fibrinogen protein. You need both for blood clotting. So the structure of platelets it is a little bit complex. It is in the structure of the star shaped thing. Okay, and they are very minute. They are very small. While uh, if you if you take a blood film, film means like if you take a slide and take a blood take some blood and like make a film thin film. If you look under the microscope, you will see like many red blood cells, a few white blood cells. But platelets, it is a little bit difficult to see. The, uh, for one thing, it is like uh, it is not abundant. It is very less. And second is that it is. Uh, Yes, it is very less and it is very minute. It is very small in like structure, shape, size, size, sorry, size, it is very small. So you need a powerful microscope to see a platelet. For normal dose microscope present in the lab, those compound microscope and simple microscope, you don't, you won't see anything. You won't see even the white blood cells. But for compound microscope, if you, uh, if you watch under it under a compound microscope, then you will, uh, uh, see the red blood cells and if you make a thin quite a thin film uh, then you will see the white blood cells but the chances of seeing platelets is very less because it is very small and it is very like scarce okay it is not abundantly found in the blood the quantity of uh, like platelets is very less okay so uh like there may there may, may be some tricky questions okay if it is asked uh, which type of blood cells help in blood coagulation don't write fibrinogen okay that is not a type of blood cell you have to write platelets but if it is asked which protein helps in blood coagulation you have to write fibrinogen okay you have to write fibrinogen then Proteins it is fibrinogen and which type of blood cell it is platelet. Okay, these are the three types of blood cells that is red, uh, red blood cells. This one, remember the diagram how it remember is, diagram, how it is. And, uh, and white blood cells. Then there is platelet, three types of blood cells, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, a boost coagulation to a lot man could even get a confusion has of coagulation back clotting, blood clotting. Key confusion, who sir? Key hoy gumpon and to me, a question that I can answer jokali. Yes, ma'am, man, blood to good man is what? Oh, so ma'am, blood to the man, blood clotting by blood coagulation to money to harmful honey, helpful. No, 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 it's very helpful. It's very, it's very helpful, Jody. To my blood coagulation, no hoy. My suppose yeah. uh, platelet to nine, but actually platelet shot to hoy. This is a little bit higher studies, you will get in higher studies. Platelet to my barota factor, take factor one, factor two, factor three, like that. There are 12 factors, okay. So, one of the factor that they help in blood coagulation, factor 12, I guess, it helps in blood coagulation, okay. So, Rodi hit 
फैक्टर तो ना थके बाद सपोज फॉर यू पीपल यू जस्ट इमेजिन इफ द प्लेटलेट्स इज नॉट देयर और जब बा है फाइब्रोजन प्रोटीन तो ना थके तो ब्लड कोअगुलेशन न होय बा ब्लड क्लॉटिंग न होय तो तले मरी थके बा न होरु काटाटा होय सपोज तुमी सब्जी काटिसा ओके यू आर कटिंग वेजीज यू गॉट अ लाइक मिनिएचर कट ऑन योर हैंड ब्लड विल फ्लो राइट ब्लड फ्लो होबो बट यस मैम अ नॉर्मली की होय तुमी जो डॉक्टर ओस नुबा होरु काटाटा होले घर ठीक हो जाए आदा तुम मेडिसिन एप्लाई करा जो बीस है अदारवैज मेडिसिन एप्लाई नक निजे ठीक हो जाए तुम ट्राई कर खूब बेसि ये ट्राई कर बट डु यू थिंक दैट टाइम दैट ओन उल स्टप द ब्लाड फ्लो नो इट उल नट येस इट उल स्लो पारे प्रसेस तो बट एक बार एंटायरलि स्टप कर ना तुम कपूर एखे बांधि दीसा ऊन तो सीट कम्प्लीटलि स्टप कर दु ना इट इट हेपेन्स बिकज अफ द ब्लाड क्लटिंग ब्लाड क्लटिंग कि द ब्लाड वेन इट फ्लोज Out, no. It comes in contact with the air, right? The blood it comes in contact with the air, and then it forms clumps. Clumps, meaning, hey, to do good marriage, what are you talking about? So good marriage, about the other side, you have that coagulation. Hey, to coagulation, you know, that means, hey, to good marriage, you have cut to like uh, it will cover up the cut, then the blood flow will stop. And so, if it is not there, blood coagulation or blood clotting is not there. ब्लाड तो कन्टिन्यूसलि फ्लो तुम जी दिन जी थी ब्लाड कन्टिन्यू फ्लो सीफाले ब्लाड गई थी तार पास तुम बडी बडी उल लैक लैक द ब्लाड एंड यूल डाय एट सार्टन पॉइंट फ्रम ए स्म काट सो ब्लाड कोअगुलेशन इज भेरि इम्पर्टेन्ट ओके ब्लाड कोअगुलेशन इज भेरि इम्पर्टेन्ट येस ब्लाड कोअगुलेशन और ब्लाड क्लटिंग इज भेरि इम्पर्टेन्ट फर सार्वइल ओके फर सार्वइल इट इज भेरि इम्पर्टेन्ट सीकार मैं जो कल मैं एक्सुअल तीन सेक्शन करा तो मैं पहरीस तुम लोग कैसो नक बट आई 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 हेव मेनशन ये डे लाइक टू यू और टू साम आदार सेक्शन देट वेन एवर यू हेव मेजर अपारेशन वेन एवर यू आर हेविंग एन अपारेशन जैसेशन है ब्लाड क्लटिंग टू चेक कर दे चेक फर दिश वेडर यर बडी इज केपेबल अफ ब्लाड क्लट ब्लाड क्लटिंग और ब्लाड कोअगुलेशन हाउ दे चेक दे आई दे टेक योर इयर कान तो लय कान लोब्स इयर लोब्स वेर वेर यू वेर द रिंगस सो देर दे उल प्रिक उथ ए निडल और ए स्म लाइक ग्लेड थिंग दे उल काट और उथ ए निडल दे उल प्रिक ओके एंड दे उल चेक द टाइम दे उल टेक ए टाइमर टाइमर लगे टाइम टू चाय कि टाइम लगे तुम माइन्यूट फुटाटर ब्लाड तो फ्लो हुआ तो स्टप हो प्रथम पूरा तेज ऊल न देन दे उल काउंट द टाइम हाउ माच टाइम इट उल रिक्वायर टू लाइक स्टप देट ब्लाड By itself, they will take a cotton. They will rub it, rub it, rub it, and until the time it stops, they will count the time. There is a certain amount of time that it needs to stop, and if it exceeds that amount of time, so they have to par hoy zay blal rokha na blal. So chhala operation mokoy. Tam risky thake. So they pet kati dille. Tam pesho tumi ma blal noro kile mori zawa no. Yes. Yes. So that is blood coagulation is very essential. If you lack blood coagulation, it is very harmful. And generally, blood blood clotting, एक बार नोट होगा कि तो न था के मनु, न था के लिए तो मूवीज़ अबो, किंतु ये differs, okay? For some people, blood clotting is it it's a little bit less. Like for diabetic persons, diabetic people, for di di diabetes, people with diabetes. So for them, no. If you have seen, if they have a cut, no blood will flow like anything. There will be lots of blood loss, and blood clotting it takes time. That is why diabetic people are not uh, uh, like suggested to go under operation under blood. Me sab diabetic man diabetes ka manu ho patok ke operation ko ato suggest na kore. Kan diabetes ta kile tumar blood clotting to both slow hoy, both slow hoy jay. Isi diabetes ta ka manu. Ane alag alag kala bilag kaha. Isi diabetes ta ka manu. Kani generally diabetes ta ka manu ho kata kata ghar patok ke nuhu kai. बहुत दिन लगे बहुत ब्लाड फ्लो है अपरेशन नक डर अपरेशन के नक मेम आम ब्लाड चेकअप ब्लाड चेन जो लिया स्प्रीट टाइप क्या लगे दिए यूज कर स्प्रीट इज नट फर क्लटिंग इट इज फर स्प्रीट तो किलकोहल स्प्रीट इज नाथिंग बट एलकोहल क्या लगे डिसइनफेक्ट कर तुम बडी एनी टाइम बेक्टेरिया भाईरास जी हम एनी टाइम थके तुम जो अंडार माइक्रोस्कोप तुम हाथ चुना भाईरास बेक्टेरिया पा तक 
सो ये बॉडी इट इज फुल ऑफ बेक्टेरिया बिकज एनवायरमेंटल इन टाइम बेक्टेरिया वायरस हमारे एयर गई आसे सो देज दैट स्पिरीट और स्पिरीट इज नाथिंग बट एलकोहल ओके पियर हाण्ड्रेड पार्सेंट एबसल्यूट एलकोहल सो एलकोहल रब तो लगे जाते सीरीज तो लगाले तो तुम स्किन तो फाटी गल न सीरीज तो फुटा कर दिल मैं तुम स्किन तो फाटी गल है स्किन तो तो अलग हम फुटा टा ऊाले सो तक कटा घट इनफेक्शन हम बहुत इजी डु नो लाइक वेन इज देर इज ए कट इफ यू उल गेट इट मीनस इट उल एट्रेक्ट शो माच भाईरास एंड बेक्टेरिया उल गेट इनफेक्टेड भेरी सून देट इज वाई हेरी कर एलकोहल रब तो कर जेगा तो डिसइनफेक्ट कर सफा कर तार पास इंजेक्शन दिए इट इज इट हेज नाथिंग टू डु उथ ब्लाड क्लटिंग just they disinfect the area oh. and and uh, blood blood group check kara dekhi sa yes ma'am they put like three drops of blood and they yes, put, uh, put an anti serum anti serum like that no so yes he to he to jun to blood blood group check kore he to clotting mechanism ta se check kore जितिया तुम्हारे एटा क्लॉट बनी बही जाय स्लाइडर राखी बोला या स्लाइडर राखी पले देखी सर एटा गुट मारी जाय कोनो बारा गुट ना मारे हेतु ऊपर डिपेंड करे तुम्हारे ब्लड ग्रुप टू हेरी करे ना एक डिपेंड यस डिपेंड करे सो दैट इज इट ओके सो आई गेस दिस इज क्लियर व्हाट इज द टाइम Okay, so these are the type of blood cells. For drawing purpose, this you can take this red blood cell because uh, this diagram I don't think you can draw this diagram. It is like three D. Okay, for drawing purpose you can use this the red blood cell. Platelets are like this, and these are the monocyte lymphocyte. No granules are present, therefore it is called granulocyte. Uh, sorry, a granulocyte. And these are granules present, therefore it is called a granul uh, granulocyte. And these are uh, eosinophil, neutrophil, and basophil. These are granulocytes. These are a granulocyte. Okay. So if you have a uh, next is next topic is about blood groups. Okay. Uh, about blood groups, how blood groups is determined, and what happens, and all that, and how many types of blood groups are there? Why some people have? Uh, have you? Uh, do you know how many types of blood groups are there? Just tell me how many types of blood groups are there. Hmm. Hmm. Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. What are the what are those? Kiki. Kiki. It is a partial blood group. Hala. A B negative. A B negative. O negative. A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative. Can I get? Four types. Yes, blood groups are four types. A, B, A, B, and O. This positive <coughs> and negative is not a different blood group. Okay, A positive and A negative, it is not entirely different. Okay, it is because of this Rh factor that we will discuss. Okay, either if this Rh is present, it is positive, and if it is absent, it is negative. Generally, it is present in most uh, people. That's why negative blood group is very scarce, but When this is uh, Rh is present, it is uh, positive, and when it is absent, it is negative. Okay. Uh, okay, we will discuss that next class. I hope all of you have given your attention.
<clears throat> okay, if you have given your attendance, you can leave. Or if you have doubts, you can ask me in the next class. Okay, you can come. If you have doubts, you ask next class. Thank you.